Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Boston Oliver. How's it going, man? It's going good. How are y'all? Doing doing well. So uh, if, if you haven't followed this kid, if you're around the Nashville area, you definitely know who this kid is. Um, so kind of just uh, tell everybody what you do and how you kind of got into racing. So I'm a 15-year-old out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, got into racing. It's been around my life for a long time. My people yeah. had a – we well, used to work on an Xfinity team, a cup team, yeah. and uh, my Uncle Tommy and my granddad actually raced, and I raced uh, the number 88 Pro Late model. All right. So I know you've gotten a lot of um, – you've gotten a lot of support from uh, – you, you mentioned it. You've got a lot of connections that have been in NASCAR, you know, for a long, long time. What, what, what's it just like going out there and racing at the fairgrounds? It's awesome. It's a historical track, and uh, all of my family has raced there. Uh, my, my Uncle Tommy and uh, my granddad. My granddad, actually, he won 55 races in one season. Wow. Not not just there, but all over. Yeah. And they've won multiple championships at the fairgrounds. So it's it's awesome just knowing, like, the history behind it and racing there. It's awesome. I like the track. Cool. When did you start racing? I started racing whenever I was seven years old okay. in 2016. All right. Jeez, I, I can't, I can't still have to remember you're 15. Um, so let's kind of go into, you know, this past weekend at the, um, you know, I know that this, uh, this past weekend did not go the way that you wanted, but overall, how do you think it went? Uh, it went, it was all right. It wasn't, it wasn't our best. I feel like we could have been a little bit better, but, uh, we're just going to get her ready for the next race and go out there and give it our best shot and hopefully go win it. Yeah. So let, let's kind of just talk about like what your plan is for the year. I know you're going to be racing a lot at the fairgrounds, but are you racing anywhere else? <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to race at uh, Five Flags Speedway, Op Alabama, uh, Montgomery, and uh, Nashville. But we're going to, we're just going to race a lot of out of town races. Okay. Um, so, you know, going into, you know, this, this season, you've gotten a lot of support and you've been a lot of cool people in your day. Um, just kind of talk about like, who's kind of been the biggest like help to you and how you've kind of just kind of navigated this racing world that you're in. Michael House and my people for sure yeah. have helped me a lot. Okay. Explain it, um, for people that might not know, um, uh, who is your people? That is my, pretty sure my uncle. He's my uncle, okay. or my granddad. My granddad. Yeah. Okay. My granddad. So, so, um, of course, Joey Jones is your um is your peepaw. So, what, what kind of how has he kind of helped you, uh, throughout all the, throughout this? Well, he's a, uh, he's taught me how to work on the cars and how to do everything, and he's he tells me basically what to do and how to do it and uh he's just like a big help to me i appreciate him so what what's the biggest thing that you've learned about the cars like like working on them uh setups uh like setups and all that all the different stuff yeah um so like what what is your like the best um best moment that you've had you know, throughout your racing career? I know it's not been that long, but it's, uh, you probably had a few good moments, right? Yes, sir. Uh, I would say probably my first ever win at the Nashville Fairgrounds. It was pretty, it was pretty awesome. We started seventh. Actually, no, we started 11th and, uh, we made our way up through the field and got the, got the win and passed Bryson Schaffer on a late race run. So it was, it was actually pretty cool. It was awesome. Yeah. Besides being um, your your everyday racer, you're also your average 15-year-old kid uh, going to an actual high school. Um, yes, sir. That's uh, pretty cool. I like it. So just kind of talk about, like, you know, managing a racing career while also trying to get – trying to go to high school as a freshman of all, of all things. Yes, sir. It's a uh, it's pretty difficult. It's not it's not like the hardest thing ever, but uh, 
yeah, I'd say it's, I don't know, it's just like, it's just, you go out to shop, you, you just go to school too. It's, it's fun. I like it. Yeah. Um, also, I know um, you're also pretty good at bowling too, from what I understand. Yes, sir. Um, so kind of talk about that. How'd you get, how'd you first get into that? How did I get into bowling? Well, me and my Mimi, I, I walked out of the elementary school and we had a bowling team. Yeah. Well, the bowling tryouts for that day. And I walked out to the car and uh, I gave Mimi the thing. I was like, uh, I want to try out for bowling. And she was like, bowling. And I was like, yeah, bowling. And she was like, oh, well, when is it? I said, the tryouts are today, actually, because they actually forgot to give out the permission, well, the slips to try out uh, yesterday. And she was like, all right, well, we'll go try out. Well, I ended up making the team, and then I got my first ball, and then uh, I learned how to bowl off of YouTube. You can do a lot. You know, you can do a lot of things off of YouTube. Okay, so um, uh, what is uh... – what is the just um what is the highest score you've ever had in bowling? A two seventy six is the highest score I've ever had in bowling. Yeah. yeah you'd win the uh you'd win the the first mystery ball that uh that uh <laughs> that that uh my 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 family's bowling league that they're in. So um so just kind of talk about like um you you know how how have you gotten so like is there like a technique that you have that that's made you so good in that? Not really. I just, uh, I'd learn from a bunch of people. Like I'd go to the lanes like early before yeah. our games and I'd go watch people that bowl like me and I'd go look and see what, how they were doing it. And I'd see how good they were. And then I just try different things till I finally got, till I finally got what I, what I was good at. What's it take to get around a track like Nashville Fairground? What, what's the biggest thing that you've learned to get around a place like that? Definitely speed. Speed okay. for sure. Okay. Um, biggest um, person you've met in racing? Biggest person I've met in racing? Yeah. Uh, Kyle Busch, Daryl Waltrip, yeah. and... Uh, I met uh, Red Farmer and uh, and Bobby Labonte. Okay. Um, you know, racing at the fairgrounds is uh, has got to be. Also, and also Jimmy Johnson. That's true too. I, I met Jimmy a few times as well. So just kind of talk about like um, you know, racing at the fairgrounds is like this this big thing. When you walk in there for the first time, what was it like? It's like just pulling through the tunnel was amazing. You know, you walk, you, you pull through the tunnel and you just see Nashville, you see Nashville fairgrounds and it's just, it's an awesome feel, feeling. It's like the adrenaline rush. And you're like, you just can't wait to get on the track. Just that's like, how, that's how it is every time you pull into the Nashville fairgrounds. Yeah. So what, what race are you most excited for coming up? What race am I most excited for? Probably have to be the snowball derby. Okay. Um, so it's like just just going and being a part of that. That's I mean the biggest biggest um biggest short track um biggest late model race ever. Yes, sir. We didn't make it last year, sadly, but we're gonna go and we're gonna make it this year, hopefully. We're gonna we're gonna try our best. Yeah. Um so just kind of you know, kind of just the next I, I know you I think I asked when your next race was just kind of preview the next few races that you have coming up on your schedule there, Boston. Uh, we're definitely – our next race is going to be at the fairgrounds, but I think we're going to run Pensacola, we're going to run Montgomery, and we're going to run Op, I, I'm pretty sure, and then uh, for sure Five Flags. Okay. All right. Well, Boston, thanks so much for coming on and talking with us, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be definitely talking with you more throughout the year, okay? Well, thank you, sir. Thank you for having me.